it. Time now for the PHL Morning News for this Tuesday morning, February 3rd, 2015. Oh. Welcome to the Tuesday morning, February 3rd, 2015. You know, you news and I here. Our top story here at 7.30 in the morning time here is in Boston, where frigid temperatures have followed a snowstorm in the northeast, bringing minus degree wind chills in parts of Pennsylvania, New York, and New England, minus 35 degrees in pockets near the Canadian border. Chris Christie and Red Ball hit for the vaccine remarks. Fresh fighting between Ukraine's military and Russia's back separatists has killed at least eight civilian officials in East Ukraine since Tuesday. Seattle Seahawks coach Pete Carroll said by the decision to pass from the one yard line. The president calls once again for a big jump in front of the commercial program that he aims to get American launch tonight, so astronauts again. The Cuban state media has published a series of photographs of former President Fidel Castro, the first to be released in the early six months. Free after 400 days in an Egyptian prison, Al Jazeera reporter Peter Christie has reclaimed control of his Twitter account and is on his way back to Australia. In Hague, the United Nations Task Court ruled on Tuesday that neither Croatia nor Serbia had committed genocide against each other its populations during the wars that accompanied the violent breakup of Yugoslavia in the 1990s. F.M. Lieberman said that appointed William Shabbos, who quit amid the locations of Israel bias, was like appointed and came to the investigate to kill Abel. Shabbos said that he did not want personal attacks to detect from inquiry. Attacks have thrown petrol bombs in a packed passenger bus in Dhaka, leaving at least seven people dead and 16 hours injured. The attack by an identified group came by the nationwide drill strike enforced by an opposition of last law firm. In Cairo, a homemade bomb exploded in central Cairo. On Tuesday, security officials said the target of the blast near a busy square was not immediately clear. Rosa Parks wrote a lease a late about her observations feelings of segregation during the civil rights movement and the admitted the cats that had not been made available to researchers at the Library of Congress. Both sides of the political aisle welcome back, said Democratic leader Harry Reid, Democrat Nevada, on Monday. Apple Incorporated is shown again, keep coming back to the bond market to fund share buybacks and preserve its overseas cash board. Amazon and Sprint are considered acquiring some radio check stores after the troubled electronics retail files for bankruptcy. Bloomberg reports cited people in the knowledge of the discussions. Alibaba Group. Holden Limited is built place to one of the biggest banks in China, with a company a fraction of its size health U.S. In London, oil rose more on Tuesday as BP said it would reduce capital expenditure added to cuts in investment in the sector and expectations that output will suffer and start to drain the In stock market reports, here down Jones. 17.364.04, up 196.09, SP 520, 20.85, up 25.86, and NASA 476.69, up 41.45. Uber has an app plan to research self-driving cars, which could put it in end-to-end -end with Google. Google has launched a driverless car division in 2010. In Atlanta, two days after he was found face down, and another responsible to the bathtub full of water in her Roswell, Georgia home, Whitney Houston's daughter. Bobby Christina Brown is on a ventilator and is the test care source close to the family said. Former rap mogul Marion Suits was charged Monday with murder and other cats in a hit and run come to California last week according to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. Before Barbara Williams, August Steph, at the age of 63, three, there have been a little outward inside of any rift between the three adult children and the wife of the three years. I just take a turn to save an energy by following another bird's wake, according to Oxford University led study, it's thought to be. The first example of turn taken for reciprocal cooperative behavior to birds. Study shows rise in mercury levels are now why at Yelp and Tuna. It's a question that's been asked with increased intensity and often hostility in the wake of a measles outbreak in Disneyland. London, Britain on Tuesday could become the first country to allow a three part IVF technique, which doctors say will prevent some inherited incurable disease about which critics see a step towards creating designer babies. In Paris and Valencia, California, Sanofi and Mankind Corporation announced today that Alpha inhalation powder, the only inhaled insulin that is now available by prescription in the United States. Two UK military medics have been transported back to England after a likely exposure to Ebola from needle stick injuries that occurred as they were treated patients infected with the deadly virus in Sierra Leone.
Taking a look at sports news here. Well, the streak is over for the Atlanta Hawks. That's the longest winning streak in the NBA less than 19th, but it ended at some point with a non Pelicans led by a big game from Anthony Davis beat Atlanta Hawks 115-100, which now means they are no longer the team to beat. Cleveland Browns quarterback Johnny Menzel entered treatment on Wednesday. Advisor Brad Beck with told ESPN5 Menzel spokesman. And the next. The Boston Celtics will be at Madison Square Garden tonight. Take it on New York Knickerbockers. Game time, 7.30 p.m. Peter Chalanus time is now 7.35 here on this Tuesday morning here. And it's time now for a little travel report here on this Tuesday morning here. In Safi's Expressway on the northbound side, slow friend. The brain tree split all the way down through Mass Avenue Bridge. Route 3 in the northbound side, slow from brain tree split. Route 3 southbound, slow from brain tree all the way down to Weymouth. And search it all the way, stop and go down to Hanover and down to Marshfield here. Route 24 north, a little slow around. Route 120 Randolph. Route 95 in the northbound side is back up to Route 1 in Sharon all the way up to Route 128 out in Canton here. Route 95 in the northbound side slow from or Route 120 in the northbound side slow from Route 1 in Albany all the way out to Wakefield here. 120 on the southbound side is slow from Wakefield and it's very slow from Redden all the way out to Route 9 and Wellesley here. So I expect some delays here. Mass Pack in the eastbound side, slow from Westbrook all the way out to Hopton here, and then you hit the brakes again on Mass Pack after you in Western and stretch it all the way up to Mass Pack and run Route 93. And Best to leave so. Expect some noise here. 93 on the southbound side, it's, it's slow, way slow. Around 3939, 593 on the southbound side, backed up from. Methuen all the way up to the Zaka Bridge of Boston. So a big backup of 93. Expect some delays here. Ooh, Tingsboro all the way down for Burlington there. Ooh. 95. Slow from New Repair all the way down to New Hampshire border. Route 495 on the westbound side. Southbound side. Slow from Route 97 in April. Stretching it all the way up to Route 3 in Chelmsford. Route 485 in the northbound side is backed up from Route 3 in Chelmsford all the way up to Route 93 and end over here. Route 495 in the northbound side, slow from Route 16 in Milford all the way up to Route 20 in Marlborough here. And Route 495 stop and slow from Route 20 in Marlborough all the way up to the Mass Pike here. Route 24 in the northbound side, backed up from Route 140 in Taunton all the way up to Route 44 in Raynham here. And take a look at highways around Providence here. Route 195 westbound side, it's backed up from Seacock down to downtown Providence. 95 stop and backed up on both ends from Pawtucket all the way up to East Greenwich here. Route 295 stop and side, slow from 44 all the way down from Route 6 in Justin. And stretch all the way down from Route 37 in Crested here. Route 10 and 6, Stangle Act, you're slow on both ends here. 295, slow around Route 146 in Lincoln, then you're slow again for Route 122 in Cumberland, all the way down for Route 95 in Alderaan here. <coughs> route 10 the James Town Bridge on the westbound side, slow. Newport Bridge is more fine. Route 4, slow for North Kingston, down for East Greenwich. And Route 6 on the eastbound side, a little slow around the Southwest Center section here. And Let's take a look at the MBTA trends and updates, the trends and reports here. And I hear in that MBTA trades are expected lots and lots of delays. So if you're on the train for the commuter rail, bus, the subway lines, 
Expect some delays here. Expect lots and lots of delays here. Let's move it on to the weather here. Where? It is a sunny start to your morning, but don't let those looks deceive you. It is frigid out. As day one, hazardous weather is not expected at this time. And day two for seven, Wednesday for Monday, there'll be a 30 to 6 percent chance of several inches of snow late Wednesday on in the Thursday evening here. As on the subway, blue line experiencing severe delays due to yesterday's weather, green line experiencing severe delays due to weather, orange line experiencing severe delays due to yesterday's weather, red line experiencing severe delays, and Mapan Trolley. Buses replacing Mapan Trolley service between Ashbond and Mapan stations on Monday and Tuesday all day due to severe weather and silver line. The SL2 snow route in effect. Uh, I'm in that A8 but Falcon Pier and connect at Dolphin Avenue and all bus routes are experiencing more delays due to the weather here. And the Camaro Rail Line, lots and lots of delays. So if you're taking the train to work, expect some delays on the lines due to the weather here. Okay, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast goes like this. For today, South Carolina have about 16 degrees. Wind chill has a low of 6 below. North West with about 7 miles per hour. Cover the west of the afternoon. Wind chill gusts as high as 23 miles per hour. For today, increase cause lower on 9 degrees. Light southwest wind. For Wednesday, a slight chance of snow shot before 9 a.m. Mostly cause kind of high about 36 degrees. Light south wind becoming southwest by 5 to 9 miles per hour morning. Wind chill gusts as high as 25 miles per hour. Chance of to 20 percent. Why not? At chance of snow, may up to 10 p.m. Clouds got lower at 25 degrees. Southwest for about 6 miles per hour. Chance of ratio 50%. New snow ratio less than what is possible. For Thursday, chance of snow, most of the clouds got high about 32 degrees. Cloud wind becoming north for at 5 to 9 miles per hour in the morning. Winds get as high as 20 miles per hour. Chance of ratio 50%. President, a chance of snow available for 1 a.m. Most of the clouds got lower about 1 degree. Chance of ratio is 40%. Friday. Most of the sides of the are about 50, low about 7 degrees. For Saturday, most of the costs are about 30, low about 17 degrees. For Sunday, a chance of snow, so most of the costs are about 27, low about 14 degrees. Chance of temperature 45 percent. And, <coughs> and for Monday, a chance of snow, most of the costs are about 27 degrees. Chance of temperature 50 percent. Norton temperature set it at 7 degrees with a wind chill of two below with first cut. That's me for the Peter Shell Morning News on this February 3rd, 2015 on a Monday, on a Tuesday morning. Peace with you. Have a good day. Wake up by the attitude. I'll see you later on. Bye-bye, buddy. Have a good day.